Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Currently having a coffee. So today's video, this is going to be a full day of eating, a full day of eating on a training day. So I've actually, I've already done my training but I was too tired this morning to film an intro so I was like I'll wait till I'm ready. So I did a run this morning and you'll see I always have oats, I always eat for my runs, I always have oats about an hour, an hour and a half before I run because if I don't I would feel horrendous and uh, my performance would drop, my energy would drop and yeah you should always 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 eat before I run but always a carb as well, complex carb I find oats just, I have oats every morning so they just like sit well in my stomach like I know I'm not going to have problems with them so I always have oats, protein powder and then we didn't actually have any frozen raspberries I normally put frozen raspberries on the top of my oats but we didn't have any, we had like, mum had bought like breakfast topper so it was just like a bit of frozen fruit with syrup and sugar and I had a coffee and also about 600 ml of water before I went out my run. Also during my run I had an energy gel. I'll put a photo here. I always take, if I'm running for more than 10k I'll take a gel. So I took a gel, so I ran 16k, I took a gel 11k in. And I don't know if it's like in my head, but I find these gels help me so much. Like, it's definitely like, what what's that thing, like the plus the placebo effect? Like, it's definitely in my head, but I find they really help me. Um, I always take them. But yeah, run was really good. Average pace 441, 16k and I think 1 hour 14, I'll insert here. But um, yeah, so full day of eating, no restrictions, eating what I want, when I want. I also went into Tesco after my run. And got Biscoff for my post run oats because I just love having oats. Like I just look forward, I just love oats, okay? I'm eating quite a lot at the minute, I'm a hungry gal. I've been doing a lot more running, which means, as my dietitian says, the four E's, extra exercise equals extra eating. That's five E's. That's five E's, why does she call it four E's? Without further ado, like and subscribe and let's get into it. Morning. So this is breakfast, we have 50 grams of oats, 25 grams of my protein powder, syrup, salt, sugar and some frozen fruit along with a coffee and 600 ml of water. make some more protein oats so I have like 70 or 80 grams of oats and again 25 grams of protein powder just to get those glycogen stores because I will have lost a lot of energy um, and we feel to perform. Old me would probably have had about 30 grams of oats and now I'm like having 80 grams of oats because, because I can and I will and that's going to help me recover, it's going to make me feel good and it's going to help me become a better all-rounded athlete so let's make oats so yeah, I think 80 grams of oats, 25 grams of protein powder add water into the microwave and then we shall top with a lot of biscuit and fruit I wish I had bought a banana in Tesco, I'm kind of craving like banana again, you already know the protein powder I use so my protein, chocolate brownie flavour, impact whey Code MFIT will get you a discount. Also, I put my dressing gown on because this house is freezing, but how I make my oats, I get lots of questions on this. This is the key. Put your oats in your bowl, add water, and then heat them. Warm the oats first, heat them, let them cook, and then you add the protein powder after. Stir it in, heat it again. It's a two, it's a two step thing. It's not just a oats protein powder in the microwave. No, 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 no. Um, and then we top with 
my fave. So I shall make that now. This is the finished product. We have Biscoff syrups. I added a bit of salt and sugar just to, because obviously we lost a lot of salt during that run. Biscoff smooth. And I'm gonna sit, watch YouTube and eat this. I shall put this on a time lapse because I don't think anybody really wants to see a five minute video of me eating. Finished, as you will have seen. That was good. Oh, let's just hit the spot. My plan for today, so I've obviously done my run. I've got a group uni thing where I'm meeting my group at one. It's now 9.41. Um, I was planning on working on my uni assignments, but I might go and sit in Costa. I've already had two coffees. My caffeine intake recently has been like so bad. I'm drinking like four coffees a day, like sis. But it doesn't affect my sleep. Like I can still sleep like. See, I eat so quick that I literally get like indigestion and like acid reflux. It all like comes back up. Yeah, I might go to sit and cost that. My new, my coffee order, I get asked this quite a lot. This is the best thing ever. Ice latte with coconut milk and caramel syrup. It's so good, so good. Let me know your coffee, your co I love Costa. So let me know your Costa order in the comments so I can try different things. I'm not a Starbucks gal, I've never been a Starbucks gal. Don't like Starbucks coffee. I just, I don't like the taste of it. Um, but yeah, it's so fun being able to like, weird like, appreciate going to a coffee shop, like in recovery, like, cause like when I was ill, I would never go to a coffee shop where I would just get like a black coffee. Like now like, the life was just like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like fun being able to like, go and do all these things again. And just like, yeah. I literally just turned my car on and it came up Costa Coffee. Tell me you go to Costa too much without telling me. I've just been sitting doing uni and I'm getting kind of bored and my concentration is going so I'm taking myself out. I'm not going to sit in Costa, I'm just going to get a drive through because romanticise driving to a drive through coffee place and getting a coffee yourself because that is literally one of my favourite activities. Please get an iced latte with coconut milk, please. That's all, thank you. Four pounds thirty-five. Not over the price of that. Mm. There's just something about like I could have easily made this coffee at home. There's just something about getting in your car, putting music on, going to a coffee drive-through that just hits so different. Mm. So good. I love a sweet coffee. Like, I like when there's like a layer of syrup at the bottom. Like, I like that. I have such a sweet tooth. Like, genuinely, if I could, I just eat sweet foods all, all day long. I drink coffee so quickly. Like, that's disgusting. Like, but yeah, that was wholesome. So you just like getting at the house and going and getting a coffee. It's my favorite activity ever. Like, but yeah, that's my next thing I've had. I don't really count that just having it to eat because that's coffee and coffee is not food. Just about to go into uni and then I realised I was about, well no I was about to eat this and then I was like oh I need to show my YouTube. So just having a squares bar, chocolate and caramel. I'm not hungry but I know I need to eat. It's all just about like Eating, even when you're not hungry. Mm. These are so good. Mm. That's great. I ate that in under a minute. Mm. So good. What will we have for lunch after this meeting? I wonder. So I am back from uni and ready for lunch. We don't really have much in the fridge, so I'm going to make, I think, pitas with pick chicken sausages, maybe just do like a range of different stuff, some hummus, some guac, maybe add some salmon and cheese and yeah, let's see what I can come up with. This is lunch, it doesn't actually look like a lot, but there is a lot of calories in this. So we have a pita, we have full fat cream cheese, hummus, salmon flakes, three chicken sausages, full fat yogurt and we have a big dollop of guacamole so this is just like an example of if you're trying to get your period back 
of ways you can eat more without even realising. Just like bulking up meals with things like full fat cream cheese, avocado, full fat yogurt. So yeah, this looks questionable but yummy, I'm excited to eat. Last bit. Mm. See, that didn't even feel like a lot, even though it was a lot. So it's just like, if you're trying to gain weight, I did not like walking your meals up on things that you're not even gonna notice. So like, full fat cream cheese, avocado, all just like healthy fats and stuff. That was good. Random, but it worked. love a pitta. I'm going through such a pitta phase. ATM. Really good. I would look this bowl if I wasn't filming. Lunch complete. This is dinner. We have Creamy Cajun chicken tagliatelle with broccoli, green beans and corn. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm going to sit in my same usual spot that I've sat at all my meals. And we can eat this. This is a big bowl. Pasta makes you faster. So if it wants to focus. Yum. If you want to know how I made this delicious bowl, it's literally just tagliatelle, Philadelphia cheese. I put Cajun spice on the chicken and it was a packet of veg. So easy. To show you that pasta is not scary. It's delicious, it's so good for you. No food will harm you as much as you think it will. And there is absolutely no reason to be scared or have anxieties around certain foods. This is so good. Yum. Last bite. Stunning. That was really good. I don't have a single bit of food guilt from that. So that just shows. Challenge repeat over a couple. The more you do it, the more your brain will realise. Oh, she's not listening to me. Washed down with an iron brew, of course. Cheers to food freedom. What can I have now? Does anyone else eat dinner and need something sweet immediately? Thinking a yogurt bowl with like biscuits. Got chocolate rice cakes. We bought Biscoff today too. These make me burp so I'm gonna finish this before I burp again because I've already burped once in this vlog and that's really not ladylike of me. Right, let's see what we've got. I think I fancy one of these mousses. Hmm, we've got a chocolate one. Yes. Let's go to the biscuit cupboard. I know mum bought these. These are unreal. They're like knockoff Nutella biscuits. See in a yogurt bowl if you crush them up. Sensational. We've also got Ritz biscuits, which could be could be quite nice. We've got chocolate rice cakes, which I could crush up. And then mum also bought these yesterday. They're like chocolate oat biscuits, which I think could be quite good too. So I think I might just make Oh, she also bought more crunchy nuts. So I think I might just put like a bit of everything together and we shall see yeah I, just, I need something sweet after after dinner so we're going with the is it aldi or little these chocolate misses apparently a lot of people can't seem to get them i couldn't get them for months but now whenever i go in they're always there so i'm gonna put the yogurt bowl together then i'll show you when it's ready mm. so this is the finished outcome we have a pack of ritz biscuits which is five biscuits one of these crushed up some mini eggs and a mousse. So let's munch this together. Stunning. I have that like every single night. So good. Another easy way to get your intake up is yogurt bowls because you can literally add anything into them. I 
Okay, no, I'm satisfied. I'm very bloated. But it's okay. I'll go away. Now I think I might go and see my friends for a bit. And then we might have a night snack. Later. The bloat do be bloating. Hey. So it's now 8pm and I'm still hungry. Shock. So what are we having? We're gonna have... Where did you get these, Mum? Uh, Some... Asta. I think you can get many supermarkets. And um, what about the yogurt? We're gonna have a wee chocolate mm, yogurt. Where did you get that? Is that not Tesco? I feel like that could be yeah, Tesco. I think it's Tesco, yeah. Um, so we're gonna have that and some milk. With it. I'm gonna make a wee nighttime snack. Then right. I'm going, to, I'm going sure. to bed because I'm tired. This is my little cereal bowl. Got cereal, yogurt, milk, and then more cereal on the top. So I'm gonna sit and munch this and then head off to bed. So that is just a typical day of eating for me. As you can see, I have a very sweet tooth, and if I fancy something. I will have it. Gone are the days of restricting myself, suppressing hunger. We eat to fuel and I feel a hundred times better for it. Yeah, so this is your sign if you're thinking about starting recovery, honestly just do it because my life has gone from zero to a hundred since starting recovery. Like I just feel like a different person. If you want to see more of these types of videos, let me know in the comments below and I can definitely do more of this like type of style video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for the continued support as well. It doesn't go unnoticed. Uh, but yeah, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.